atmosphere tonight, obviously really thrilling. Um, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Dean did a great job, our interim athletic director, putting the word out, getting everybody out there, and our fans stayed right till the end, and I'm sure they enjoyed it, but uh, they helped out a lot tonight, for sure, the fans. Yeah, it was a, it was a great environment. The crowd really helped us out tonight and made it loud, and it was really fun to play in front of. How much does that like, pump you guys out that, you know, a little bit louder and games like this? Is it kind of adding a little pep in your step when you're out there skating, or, or for you in that? Yeah, I mean, when I went out on that ice and right before the puck drop, they're all screaming and flies waving and the signs are out there. I mean, you got to want to be there. On it. There's no one else that would want to be tonight than in that crease. So. Yeah, it, it makes it more, like I said, more fun. And you want to actually play for the fans. You want to play harder for them and try to get the victory for them so they can keep celebrating. Sam, I was never bragging on those last 34 seconds facing a six on three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Six on three, uh, you know they're just going to try and throw it on the net, so you got to battle. They did a great job tonight, all night, getting in front of me, and I couldn't see many shots, but I mean, my D men, all they did was block shots, and they might have had more saves than I did. Uh, a lot of part of that, they're a huge part of that win tonight. Uh, how big was the, I mean, kind of tilt zone is a huge all night. They had like four power plays in. Like a nine-minute span in the second, too. Uh, what are you guys doing so well to kill those off? Uh, just working hard on the DK. That's all it is. Just hard work, and uh, I think that our, anyone we put on the ice in our lineup is going to be the hardest worker on the on the ice, and we put together a great PK. Today. How big was it for you personally to come back after a game like you had doing it last week to come back not only with, get a win tonight but put a shutout in a pretty big one? Yeah, I mean, I know they're, they're going to have games like that, and. Uh, you know, I just kind of put it put it behind me. Uh, as soon as Sunday came, it was gone and in the past, and I was battling for the chance to start this week. And um, you know, I just played like it was any other game. I didn't even think about it. So. I guess. Can you just walk through through that goal in the third? Um, kind of real quick. Uh, yeah. Um, Bozzi had the puck down low behind the net and. Threw it over to Blizey, and then I just tried to find an open area. Blizey made a great pass, and then I just tried to get it off as fast as I can, and ended up going in. All right, guys. Thanks. UMass Lowell's is going to be outside their locker room.